Hello, I'm Ruben from Mascrew and this is EDH Archetypes, where I'm going to talk about some of the best archetypes in Commander and go into the common cards, the commanders and the colours that are associated with that archetype. A smart place to start a series like this would be to focus on one of the main archetypes of the format, artifacts, life gain, counters, but I have never been accused of being smart, so instead, I'll be starting with the 18th most popular archetype in the form- Really? 18th? Infect is ahead of it? Ugh. Today we'll be talking about blink decks. Blinking refers to a permanent being flickered or removed from the battlefield and then returned. It's different to bounce effects as you aren't recasting the card, it's simply re-entering the battlefield. Almost all blink cards say that a card is exiled and then returned to the battlefield. The point of this archetype revolves around having these powerful enter the battlefield effects and being able to get recursive value from being able to utilize them multiple times. Outside of this it's also useful because often cards are generally turned under their owner's control. Meaning you can use a card like switcheroo to swap permanents and then use a blink card to regain control of your permanent. I only use switcheroo as an example here because it sounds funny and it doesn't really need me to read out its effect. <laughs> switcheroo. Blink effects are predominantly found in white and blue, most commonly white, because although almost all the good blink commander cards are white or blue, they're rarely just blue, and when they are they break the whole goddamn gate! God damn it, Jedi Navigator! <clears throat> okay, often blink is seen as a very controlling archetype because of its Azorius colours, and because of its apparent need to flicker bounce spells and destruction spells every single turn, making your creatures never able to stick around on the board. Rarely blink effects are seen in other colours, though Commander in specific has green as one of its common blink colours due to it being a sub-theme of a past precon. These often utilise the powerful ETBs of green creatures like Acidic Slime or Bane of Progress to get significant value from repeatedly blinking them. Black is also found smattered about in some fringe blink decks, usually for extra control, and I can see it becoming a more popular one as more people build Aminatu. In just the Azorius blink decks, with no green or black, we're rather limited in the amount of ramp we can include. So we want to be able to include as much artifact and ETB ramp as we possibly can without detracting from the theme. However, due to blue being able to reutilize ETBs, this archetype is great at drawing cards. So depending on the deck, cards that can give no maximum hand size or take advantage of card draw are often good in many of these decks. So what Blink Commander is for you? The answer may be simpler than you think. For many players, it's just a binary decision. If you look at the top Blink Commanders on EDHREC, the top two are leagues ahead of the others. Let's do some small dives into them now and talk about some of the other popular Blink Generals too, to give you an idea of what you might want to play or will be playing against from Blink decks. Brago King Eternal is one of those extremely popular Blink Generals. In fact, he's one of the most popular Commander decks. The ability to Blink every type of non-land permanent is what separates him from the rest. One of his major downsides is having to deal combat damage to a player, but with all of the evasion and unblockable effects offered in blue, it's a minor issue. Whisper Silk Cloak and Questioned Authority Traveler's Cloak, these are all great for being able to get Brago through for damage and get his effect. Brago decks tend to be built around stacks effects. This is because his ability to blink any non-lands gives you the ability to have a way to untap your non-land permanents. With cards like Tanglewire being able to be flickered every turn, Brago can offer a different strategy to many of the other blink decks out there. Also having access to artifacts, enchantments and auras, and being able to do all of them at once, gives access to more combos than the other decks that can only blink creatures. Ifara, god of the polis? Police? The police! That's the sound of the police! Ifara, in some ways, is similar to Brago in its card pool, with the distinct variance of her mostly only caring about creatures, meaning decks with her tend to care more about creatures entering and leaving. Also, since she has no inherent way to blink things herself, you can't guarantee you'll always have access to blink effects if you don't include quite a few in your deck. Another difference is Afara is also built as a bouncing deck. 
as she only cares about her creatures leaving the battlefield, and so is fine just bouncing them back to your hand for value. Cards like white... I think it's white main lion? Is it... Uh, white main lion... It's white main lion! Cards like white main lion allow you to just pay two and have this card enter every turn, drawing you a card off of Farah's ability. Aminatu the Fate Shifter, the new card from Commander 2018, adds black into the mix, but is more limited than some of the other options in regards to her blinking ability. The main thing adding black into the mix allows you to do is having the control that allows the deck to go through the roof. Being able to include ETBs like Ravenous Chupacabra, Basilica Bellhorned, and Runescard Demon is a great way for making up for the limited blink ability on Aminatu with how powerful these black ETBs are. Aminatu's ability, although more limited as I've said, are more versatile since they can do things outside of just blinking things. She also allows you to manipulate the top of your library a bit. So cards that have manifest like cloud form become even more relevant than they are in usual blink decks because you can actually have knowledge of what the top card of your library is. Rune of the Hidden Realm is the other one of the top two cards and is one of the main ones people think of when you mention blink. So there with Brego is some of the most built Blink Commanders around. Adding green allows you access to a whole lot of powerful ETBs, as mentioned previously. It also allows you access to more ramp, more removal, and most importantly, Rune himself allows an instant speed blink of any creatures on demand, not just yours. Which is more than Brego, Aminatu, and Afara can manage, which are all limited in different ways. Because of this, Rune often ends up being seen as quite controlling. He's the only one of the main blink commanders who's able to blink creatures that your opponents control, giving you access to the additional dimension of being able to remove scary attackers, or even politic for giving your opponents ETBs. Which card should you put in your deck? Well, I'm going to talk about some of the staples and let you know what cards are very powerful in blink decks. First off, we can't really talk about blink cards without mentioning Panharmonicon. Though it doesn't reference flickering itself, this card allows you to get double utility out of all of your creatures entering the battlefield, which is crazy in these kind of decks. In many flicker decks, Panharmonicon is one of, if not the most powerful cards you can include. Another great artifact is Conjurer's Closet, which allows you to get to reutilize a free enter the battlefield effect at the end of each one of your turns. Both of these artifacts do nothing as soon as you play them, but can generate you a huge amount of value throughout the game. Well, let's talk about the cards that actually allow us to blink permanence when we want, as opposed to at the end of our turn. We finished talking about the popular commanders, but outside of them, we also have Mist Meadow Witch, Flicker Wisp, Vince of the Sojourner, Philidar Guardian, and uh, Dead Eye Navigator. All of these are great in their own ways. Some are better than others. But all of them have their place, and can be used to great effect as backup or replacement blinking effects. But what do we want to blink? What are some of the staple Enter the Battlefield effects that we can use in our deck? Well, we have Moldrifter, Cloudblazer, Psalm Simulacrum, Sun Titan. All of these will generate us an insane amount of value when they enter the battlefield, either recurring things, drawing us cards, getting us lands. If we can blink these cards a few times, they will propel us ahead in a game of Commander. In terms of one-time flicker effects, we have Eerie Interlude, Ghostly Flicker, Cloud Shift, Ghost Way. All of these are great, but Ghost Way and Eerie Interlude are especially good in these types of decks, as they can also save your creatures from board wipes, and or just get good value from them entering the battlefield again. The standard removal of Path, Swords, Return to Dust are great, but in terms of removal cards that actually synergize with what a Blink deck will be doing, Angel of Serenity, Reflectomage, and Fiend Hunter are just a few of the cards that can take our opponent's cards out of the picture for a while. Additionally, and I'll use Brago as an example here, but, but when more non-creature flicker cards are released, like Aminatu, this also applies to them, non-creature removal effects for flicker decks can actually be even better. Cards that are already staples in Brago, like Reality Acid, Spine of Ishsar, and Act of Authority, are great for removing a multitude of threats. Blink is this sort of seasonal mechanic that pops up here and there in stats usually about once a year. It's present in many sets in some ways, 
but it's never as consistent in getting good cards released as some other themes. In EDH, it's dominated by the two main boys. And I'm excited to see what potential avenues for EDH open up in few. Aren't you on silent? And I'm excited to see what potential avenues for EDH open up in future for Blink and Flicker decks. Until then, I'll keep playing my Brago combo deck. Thank you everybody for watching. I've been Ruben from Manascrew. So that's Blink. Is there anything you think I've missed or any niche Blink combos that you love? What archetype would you like to see covered next? Hopefully in this video you found some ideas for a deck you'd like to build or some cards or inspiration and it gives you some guidance on where to go with your Blink deck. If you feel the video deserves a like, please do leave a like. And if you enjoyed the video and are awaiting more, please throw a subscribe my way and help my channel grow. It's how I can keep making these videos on a almost bi-weekly basis. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and get better.